I was just thinking about it the other day. And by the way, I thought this one is pretty cool. Come, take a look. See this one. See over here. So I got my Raspberry Pi and a monitor plugged to it. Of course, there's called Linux installed in it. I just have to click a small little button and you see this one. Look at that. It's starting up right now. And you can see right here, it's booting. This looks so cool. I have no idea what's going on. I never really learned about this. But it makes me look like a hacker. That's what I want. That's so cool. All right, so question is, I was thinking of that and there's a couple of ways to do it. I thought about, you know, just how 10 years ago, I was like a help desk engineer, a support engineer, fixing computers, fixing printers, laptops, desktops, I knew nothing about it. I was willing to put in a grind and I learned it. I was making like $25,000 a year or so. And back then, if you were to tell me 10 years later, you would work at Fang or Mang and you will make $500,000 a year. That's amazing. That's unbelievable. Inspiring, indeed. I was thinking about my journey and you were asking me, hey, is there a roadmap? How can I break into cybersecurity? I have a step-by-step -step instruction for you. I was thinking of a couple of techniques to do that, that I used to break into cybersecurity. So this is the plan. There is a company you want to join. It can be Facebook or Meta or Apple or Amazon or Netflix or Google or a bank or a mid-sized company, the dream company that you want to join. Apply. Apply for any job there. Just go ahead and apply. Get in the company. That's the first step. Once you get into the company, here's what you're going to do. Listen carefully. Okay, this is critical. This is important. On your way to work, when you're commuting, whether you're on a train, on a bus, or maybe you're driving, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And there is a video, come. there's a video that you have to watch, which is on SQL injection, structured query language injection. You have now joined the company, you've earned their trust. You have access to the HR system. This is where it all begins. You find a vulnerability inside the system. And they have a database of all these different employees. You use SQL injection to find someone with a title of cybersecurity or security analyst. The role that you want, okay? You get their email from SQL injection. Then you watch another video on how to create phishing sites. You get ready the phishing site. You send a link to that email to that employee who has a title of cybersecurity that you want. They click onto the link. You have now both swapped title, swapped position. Next day, or immediately, you are now a cybersecurity professional. Do that and let me know how it goes. See you next time.